9.55 a.m. yesterday to 6.05 p.m. Uh, no negotiations between the compound and our negotiators during the evening hours. May I answer your questions? Yes, sir. We are now approaching uh, a week full of religious holy days and holidays. Uh, and of course, religion plays a big part in this standoff. What are the significance of, of the Holy Days coming up, as you see it, in ending this standoff? The question is the uh, significance of the forthcoming Holy Days in ending the standoff. First, we have to uh, see what Korish's interpretation of the Holy Days are. His idea of when Passover is, is at some odds with the traditional Passover. He counts the days of the moon. Basically, his Holy Days are whatever he wants them to be. Uh, we think that, however, there is a significance. Uh, what that means, we don't know. Uh, it could be that they'll walk out and surrender. It could be that they'll take some action. It could be that they'll do nothing. But uh, from the beginning, he has indicated that there is a special significance to his Passover season. As a follow-up, uh, uh, are you taking any special precautions or preparations in anticipation of this the FBI? I think uh, nothing special. We are here, of course, in great force. Uh, we will protect ourselves and, and all the uh, innocent parties in the area at all times, uh, but, but we're, quite a, we're quite capable of handling that. So we're not taking any unusual precautions, yes, sir. At what point are you going to begin to negotiate again, uh, and is there a planned face-to-face -face meeting at this point? Uh, at this time, uh, the question is, when will we begin negotiating again, and are there planned face-to-face -face meetings? Uh, there are no planned face-to-face -face meetings as of today. Uh, if he wants to talk to us, he merely has to pick up the phone and talk to us. And uh, we will talk to him at any time. And we will continue to try to resolve this peacefully through negotiation. Do you plan to initiate? Uh, I think we will, at, at this point, we'll let him initiate it. 
Yes, sir, on the end. Have you uh, talked to Mr. Koresh or Mr. Schneider at all since their attorneys left last night? Uh, no, there's been no contact uh, during the evening hours subsequent to the attorney's visit. Yes, ma'am, back here. Uh, the attorney sounded uh, fa fairly optimistic after leaving yesterday, for, after talking to him for about eight or nine hours. Do you share that same optimism that uh, any day now Koresh or Snyder will call their attorney and surrender? I think there's uh, guarded optimism that some progress was made by the attorneys. I think we're now in what might be characterized as a cooling off period. They're now going to think over what their attorneys have said, and, and obviously we are not privy to the uh, privileged conversations between the attorneys and their clients. Hopefully that will resolve the issue. However, we've been here for, I think this is day 34, and we've heard all of this. We've had cooling off periods, and it's going to happen tomorrow, so guarded optimism would be about the best face we could put on this. A follow -up. Yes, ma'am. I was just wondering when you're expecting DeGuerin and Zimmerman to come back to Waco. I think uh, I think that that will depend on their on the Corish and Schneider. If they reach out to their attorneys, I'm sure they'll return. Yes, sir. Can you tell us uh, yesterday, Melvin Bellock from San Francisco uh, had made uh, sent a representative here, and uh, he was interested in coming in, saying so he had uh, conversations with the grandmother and, and felt he had power of attorney through the grandmother. Would you be allowing any other attorneys in besides the two who have been in there? The question is, uh, Melvin Belli, a San Francisco attorney, has made representations that he represents one of the members of the cult. Are we going to let other attorneys in there? The answer is at this time, no. We have no obligation, as has been said before, we have no obligation to allow anyone in there. Our job is to resolve this and bring these people before the bar of justice. Yes, sir. The, uh, you described this as a cooling off period. Does that mean you're not going to be playing loud music and shining lights? At the no, it does not. We will continue playing various and sundry sounds and using bright lights. Uh, do you think there's a problem? Do you think that that's really going to allow them to, uh, to calm down with the lawyers or talking to them in a, in a way? It will give them many hours of wakefulness to ponder many things, yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Sir, I'm sorry. Did you talk a little bit about the plea bargaining? Uh, Kathy Schroeder was uh, let go twice by the judge, and now, along with two other people, she has now been indicted. The question is, can we talk about the plea bargaining? We, we cannot comment on any of the legal aspects. That is properly the province of the United States Attorney. Uh, so, so I can't. I, I know nothing about it, and we couldn't comment on it if we did. Yes, ma'am. Okay. When, if or when the call actually does come from the Branch Davidians to their attorneys, will the attorneys then notify you, or would you already know that the call was going out? Uh, I think we would be. We would be. The question is, will if a call goes to uh, the attorneys from the compound, will we be notified? I would think we'd have to arrange that call and would know about it. We would not be privy to the contents of the call. And the attorneys would just tell us then what, what they wanted to do or planned to do. Yes, ma'am. Um, have any particular terms of surrender been presented to you from the compound via the attorneys? And if so, have you agreed to those terms of surrender? The question is, have any particular terms of surrender been presented from the compound? And have we agreed to those? The answer is no. There have been no terms of surrender. We, we are, we're not talking really a military campaign. We're talking about people who have slain federal agents, and uh, we're not going to need, we, we want them out peacefully, and we will acquiesce to reasonable requests, but there won't be any terms of, uh, of surrender, as, as you might think of in a, in a military sense. Okay, yeah, I follow oh, that. Yeah. Uh, have any reasonable requests been put forward, and if so, have you agreed to them? During the, during the course of this entire event, some requests have been made, for example, uh, milk for the children. Uh, things like that, but there really haven't been many requests for anything. In the, in the back, back there, sir. Yeah, how long could how long could this cooling off period be? If you don't hear anything from the compound, is there some point where you will say, okay, fine, they had their chance to respond to their lawyers. Now we go back at it. The question is, how long will the cooling off period uh, last? <clears throat> well, we don't really know. Uh, I think it's reasonable to think that with the upcoming. Passover season, that that might be a, a, a point where something might happen. Uh, we are prepared, however, to stay here and do what we have to do as long as it takes to do it.